Hello guys, today's concept is about questionnaire. Now we are going to implement a questionnaire concept using Pega platform. This questionnaire concept is very much helpful while creating a case type which is having surveys or online tests or feedbacks. This will be very helpful in the case types which needs something like student tests or creating online tests for students or anyone else. So let's go into the questionnaire topic. In this, we just have to first of all create a case type. So now I have create, clicked on this add a case type and I have given a new case type name as course management. So now let's wait until this case type is created successfully. So now the case tab is created. Wait till it is loaded totally. So now first of all I am deleting the create process. Now I am adding, adding a new stage giving the name as new. So now I have to we have to add questionnaire step. We can find the questionnaire step in more and automations. Instead of that, we can directly search in search bar. So here it is. This is the questionnaire. Click on this and just select this. So now the questionnaire has successfully added. Now click on save. Now first of all, we have to create a new question page. For this, the navigation is configure and now click on case management and then questionnaire. Now click on create a questionnaire. I am giving the questionnaire name as written test and click on submit. Wait till the questionnaire is successfully created. So it is successfully created. Now, as soon as it opens, we just have to click on add. Add a question page. So now the a new question page is created. Now click on this pencil icon and I am giving the name as general knowledge. And just click on tick mark after you have completing completed adding the title now add click on add question and click on new so now after this we just have to click on this drop down and just click on the pick list now I am giving a demo question So now after this we have to click on this map answers to field and click on create new. So now a pop up window is appeared. Now I am giving the field name as answer 1 and display as drop downs or radio buttons. We can click whatever we want. I'm, I would like to display it as radio buttons. I am giving the answers such as. Or so now I'm creating another question by using the same process add the add a question and add new. Now click on pick list. Now I am giving another question with the name. The question, uh, name, question is who is the president of India? Now the same process click on create new and give the field name as answer to. Now select the display as radio button and add your choices. 
such as So now the main task is we just have to give the scoring. So I am cl clicking on the first question and we have to click on the crosshair icon beside scoring. Now I am giving 5 marks for each question. We can give whatever score we want. Now I am clicking on second question. I am giving the score by clicking on this crosshair icon. Now submit this questionnaire page which is written test. Now after saving this. Go back to the course management case type and click on select questionnaire. So we just have to first of all save this or refresh the page and click, click back. We can find it in test and now save this. So as soon as we save this, click on the refresh case types. So we can now see written test is added as child case under the course management. So let's refer course management as parent case and written test as child case. So go, go, go to the app explorer and create a new property in written test which is the child case. Right click on this, click on create. This is the navigation for creating a property, data model and then property. I am cr creating a new property in the child case which I have given the name as written test. So now I'm giving the name as total score. Now create an open. So now after the page is open, just click on save and go to actions and mark, and mark it as relevant record. So now we will Create, a case, create the case or we can save and run the case. I'm running the course management case. You can also navigate through save and run in your case type which is course management which I have created here. So now I am clicking on wrong answer for the first one and right answer for the second question and clicking on finish. So as I have given 5 marks for each now as only one question is correct now I should get only 5 marks. So we will check the score by clicking on clipboard and we can find the score in PY work page go down at last we can find PY work page click on plus symbol and go at last we can find PY question group now click on plus now click on this PY group PY question group QP of 1 and now copy this PY work page dot question group of QP underscore 1 so now in this there is a property called a score where the score was displaced as 5 so now go back, now refresh the app explorer. Now go to the written test case and expand this and expand data model and in property we can find total score just that was created just now. Right click on this and just click on define expression the third one which is define expression and click on create and open. After opening this, just copy and paste the thing that we have just copied and click on dot score. As we have viewed the score property under this, we just have to give like this. Copy and paste this PY workpage dot PY question group and 
give to dot score make sure that you are giving dot score and save this now go to app explorer click on this and refresh the app explorer now create another property in the parent case which is course management right click on this and this create click on create data model and then click on property now give the name as test score before we have given as total score now i am giving it as test score now save and mark as relevant record actions after saving you have to click on action and then mark as relevant record so after this we just have to refresh the app explorer and we have to create a data transform in this tgb hr apps work make sure that you are creating the data transform in only work class not in any of the below case steps please create the uh, data transform in work class only click on right click on this create data model and then data transform this is the navigation make sure that you are creating here in the work class and give the name as i am giving here update dt now create and open now click on pages and classes give the name as py work cover now give the class name as this we have to give the parent class name tgb hr apps work course management this is my parent case py work page now so here i am giving my child case tgb hr apps which is tgb hr apps work written test this is my child case so go back to definition and click on target value as py work cover dot test score source is we have to we just have to give the source as total score from the work page so py work page dot total score click on save now click on refresh the app explorer make sure you just save this update data transform and you we just have to open the flow of written test so this flow will be available under process click on flow and then py administrator survey make sure that you click on this py administrator survey after opening this this will be aut uh, automatically in this lock so as this was in locked we just have to check out this to unlock this so after this we just first of all we have to remove this connector click on this uh, connector and delete uh, and click on delete so we just have to add an update case which is available in automations click on this so now put this here and click uh, keep this uh, between them and double click on update a case none from the drop down select the data transform that we have already created now just now here click on px cover ins key make sure that cover c i and k are capitals and click on submit now make sure that you can you, you connect these connectors this is so important step so now click on save so now close all tabs now go back to the course management case type and just click on save and run before that we have to create a new stage called as score click the new step called as view view score i am create clicking on this or adding this collect information step and giving the name as view score in this click on configure view add the test score property which was already created from the search bar click on this plus icon so this property will be automatically created added so click on submit now we will save and run this case So now we can see that without running the question page directly the test score field is appeared 
So for this, first of all, we have to close this and add a step which is wait step. The wait step can be find it out in these automations. Click on more and search as wait in the search bar and add the wait step. And right side, click on wait for case type and click on drop down and add your child case type which is rate and test and click on this radio button to be resolved. Make sure that you are selecting to be resolved. Now add another step which is change to a stage. So there will be two things change stage and change to a stage. Make sure that you are clicking on change to a stage and select this and the, add the stage name as score. Now save and run this case. So see now we can view our questionnaire page. Now I am clicking on both right answers. We can also click on clear section where the answer is cleared. So I am clicking on finish. Now I should get 10 marks. So see the 10 marks is automatically populated here. So now I am running again clicking on save and run again. So now I am first I am giving right answer for the first one and wrong answer for the second one and I am clicking on finish. Now I must get 5 marks. See, the 5 marks is automatically populated. So this is the questionnaire concept. Thank you friends. Please like, share and subscribe.